Hi guys, good morning all. I am myself Jeevita. I am doing assistant professor in KPR IIT. Now I am going to take about introduction to blockchain technology. Second one, now the basic, let's we can see the basic blockchain terminology. Block, blockchain, consensus, mining, distributed ledger, peer-to-peer -peer proof of work. We can see all these topics. First topic is block. Block is a set of validated transaction and it can be pointed to the next block in blockchain or we can term it as container data structure. Simply we can say that block consists of set of transaction. In that transaction we have previous block, next block and hash pointer. So let us see the header. The header contains the metadata about the block. Second one is hash of the previous block. Even every block n contains the hash value hash value of block n minus 1 mining competition this contains the timestamp nonce and difficulty mining concepts can be discussed detailed in consensus algorithm next we can see the merkle tree root these data structure summarizes the transaction in the given block now we can see the visual representation of the block in green color we can see the present block block number is 525253 Previous block number is 525252 and the next block number is 525254. Here we have three blocks. So present block is uh, in green color and previ previous block is 52. It is in pink color and it is our third block is in pink color. It is 525254. In this green color current block you will have the timestamp that is on what time on which date which time you are storing this transaction in the blockchain, it will be recorded. So it is called as timestamp. And it is nonce, number used only once. In that, you will have the previous transaction and the next transaction. Let us see the blockchain terminology. Blockchain is a distributor, decentralized and immutable database existing on the multiple computers at the same time. We can see the difference between centralized, decentralized and distributed ledger. But a centralized system means one, one person can control all the things. For example, if you are studying in a school, principal will control the uh, all this. All the principal will uh, deliberate all the rules. If it is decentralized, uh, one uh, for uh, five to six groups, one group will have one owner like that. We can mention the decentralized manner. Next one is distributed ledger. Distributed ledger is which is anonymous. Each user has a copy of ledger and they can even participate in confirming the transaction independently. Let us see the difference between blockchain and cryptocurrency. It can go hands in hand. Blockchain technology is supporting the cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is the best known example for cryptocurrency. Now I am going to see about the blockchain how the blockchain works for example a want to send the money to b like uh, like these steps the process can be completed now he or she want to request the uh, block to connect in the network after that uh, they will acknowledge it then they will broadcast to every node in the network after getting approval by all the nodes in the network the money can be added into the bs account now uh, we can see the some industrial example. Voting system is the real time example. Some other examples are Everledger, Walmart, Microsoft and uh, healthcare industries we are using. So business example, uh, I told that blockchain use case in healthcare. So patient can control his or own data, secure medical data exchange. Blockchain can ensure the consent, compliance, audit, auditability, provenance and governance.